Hey guys, today we're talking about a split squat. It's an excellent exercise, very dynamic, uses a lot of different muscle groups, very good for generating power, or very adaptable, you can use it to stretch some really tough to stretch tissues. Particularly, we're gonna talk about the hip flexor. You wanna be really careful if you're gonna use it for stretching the hip flexor, that you don't cheat and let your belly fall forward. When you do this, you actually shorten the angle of that hip, you're not gonna get as much stretch out of that tendon. So, when you come into this, you wanna make sure your core is very engaged, very stiff, and you wanna be right here, and then as you come down, you wanna engage this glute a little bit, and I can tell you right now, stiff core, I feel it right here in my hip flexor. And you can kinda of just hang in that, or you can move up and down, change the angle a little bit, find out where you feel the best stretch right here. And you can hang in this. It's a great, great way to load that very thick hip flexor tissue. As you load it, that way to load it is a very good way to lengthen it, stretch that tissue out. Another great exercise for this is hip stability. Another great usage of this is hip stability. It allows us to really access unilateral activation of the muscles. So if you're gonna come in with hip stability though, adding a kettlebell, great way to do it. You wanna put it on the opposite side of your front leg. So if I step forward with this leg this time, I'm gonna grab the kettlebell with my other hand right here and nice and slow. Same thing though, you wanna make sure that core is stiff and engaged, you're not cheating and you come down you can get a little cheeky stretch out of that other hip flexor as well as you really get some good engagement of this lateral glute musculature, the glute medius, a little bit of glute minimus, a lot of good things you can do with that. Great exercise, use it a lot, hope you do too.